in Hinduism, Shivling is a symbol that represents Lord Shiva as the most powerful deity. Temples are built in his honor, including a Shivling, which represents all the energies in the world and beyond. There is no origin or form that can be associated with Shiva. Humans need a symbol to worship. So, the Ling was created. Ling means symbol. For example, if someone used a stethoscope, it could identify that person is a doctor. A Ling is just a symbol to identify something. This symbol we call Shiv Ling has a scientific explanation. Shiv Ling consists of three parts. The bottom that has four sides remains underground. The middle part that has eight sides remains on a pedestal. The top, which is actually worshipped, is round. The height of the round part is one third of its circumference. The three parts symbolize Lord Brahma in the lower part, Lord Vishnu in the middle and Lord Shiva in the upper part. The pedestal is provided with a passage to drain the water that poured on the top. Lingam symbolizes the creative and destructive power of Lord Shiva and the devotee attribute great holiness to him. This does not mean that others should give a false meaning to the image of Shivling. It is unfortunate that Western scholars have mistakenly associated this lingam with the phallus, a male sexual organ, and have seen obscenity in worship. As it is described that Lord Shiva has no form, it is ridiculous to claim that lingam represents a phallus. That is why Swami Vivekananda described Shivling as a symbol of eternal Brahman. Hinduism does not oppose science. It doesn't even oppose other religions. Science is a continuous effort to discover and increase human knowledge of the physical or material world through experiments and observations. But Hinduism has the strength to provide answers to certain problems that science has not been able to solve. Shiv Ling represents the entire cosmos and the cosmos in turn is represented as a cosmic egg. Again, an egg is an ellipsoid that represents neither a beginning nor an end. The truth behind the scientific research conducted by scientist Niels Bohr shows that the molecules are made up of atoms that consist of protons, neutrons and electrons which play a vital role in the composition of shivling. In those days, instead of using those English words such as protons, neutrons, electrons and energy, ancient sages used words such as Lingam, Vishnu, Brahma, Shakti, etc. Since Sanskrit was the dominant language in those periods, Sekh Vyas, the author of Mahabharat, mentions that Lord Shiva is smaller than subatomic particle like proton, neutron and electron. At the same time, he also mentions that Lord Shiva is greater than anything greatest. Shivling is not just a simple symbol. Our rishis wanted to send a message to the masses that they can see the smallest form of nature in the form of Shivling. Shivling represents the atomic structure. In our atomic structure, there are protons and neutrons surrounded by electrons that spin rapidly. An examination of the image of Shivling in the context of Bohr's model would demonstrate the surprising truth that Brahma created the world. Shivling demonstrates the behavior of protons, electrons, neutrons and energy. Lord Vishnu means proton with a positive electric charge. Lord Shiva means neutron without an electric charge. Lord Brahma means an electron with a negative electric charge. Shakti is represented by an oval-shaped disc with three ridged carved on its periphery. She is energy and plays a vital role in the universe. If we look at Lord Vishnu's portrait, a lotus that emerges from Lord Vishnu's navel is depicted and Lord Brahma is shown sitting on the lotus. Lotus means energy that has the force of attraction. The lotus stem can bend due to its flexibility, indicating that Lord Brahma moves around Lord Vishnu. This is a message 
that the electron is attracted to the protons due to the opposite electrical charge. In addition, neutron is represented as Lord Shiva, which has no charge. The nucleus of the atom also contains neutrons. Neutrons are about the same size as protons, but they have no electric charge. Neutrons are very close to the nucleus of the atom with protons. When the nucleus of the atom contains as many as protons and neutrons, the atom is stable. Similarly, the ancient sages have suggested that when Lord Shiva is not disturbed and separated, he remains calm. Lord Shiva keeps calm because Shakti takes the form of Renuka. The energy that forms the molecule is denoted by their valency, which in Sanskrit is Renuka. Renuka is one that produces Renu or a molecule, two atoms from a molecule. Therefore, the ancient Hindu sages brought the idea of Shakti as Lord Shiva's wife and as part of Lord Shiva and dance around Lord Shiva all the time. However, when neutrons is disturbed and separated, disasters occur, which means that Shakti ends up being a terror known as Rudrani or Kali, who performs a destructive dance indicating a natural disaster. Our ancestors did a great job. But as time went by, the true meaning was lost, leaving behind the traditions and literature which we can study. We must study all the ancient literature which we can study. We have to study all the literature and ancient traditions to revitalize knowledge. Thank you so much guys for watching our video. Do like, comment and share if you haven't already.